from home and don't want to pay a clinic to do it, get at least someone else to do this process. So you take, you, another thing you've got to be wary about is about using cosmetic peels. Peels are very strong in order to remove your syringoma is that, especially if you have it around your eyes, on your under eyes or your upper eyelids, make sure that they don't actually go into the healthy part of your skin. Colic acid has got the same or very similar effect to In this video, we're going to talk about the cheapest and easiest way to remove your syringoma. The cheapest way to remove your syringoma is by using TCA, trichloracetic acid. Very simple. Now, what type of trichloracetic acid and where to buy it? Now, the type of trichloracetic acid is a TCA, trichloracetic acid has got a concentration from 50% above. Again, I repeat it, 50% or above. So you go onto the internet and you buy a trichloracetic acid solution that has got a concentration of TCA, trichloracetic acid, of 50% or above. Bit of a disclaimer here. We don't advise you to do it. However, many people have done it very successfully. So we give you the details of how to do it, but it's not extremely advisable because of the, the fact that TCA is a bit unforgiving. But we're gonna, we're gonna to, to tell you and gonna tell you exactly how to do it. Um, so that if you want to actually go and do it anyway, you might as well get the very best possible advice on how to do it. So what to do is just go on the, into the internet, go buy this 50% TCA or above concent concentration TCA of 50% of or above. When they get to your home, then use a toothpick, dip it on inside this TCA and carefully place it on your syringoma selectively on your syringoma. The best thing that you can do, if you really, really want to do it on your own, uh, from home and don't want to pay a clinic to do it, get at least someone else to do this process. So you, you take the toothpick, dip it into the TCA and get this little bit of TCA onto your syringoma selectively. Make sure that they don't actually go into the healthy part of your skin because they actually gonna burn your skin as well. So selectively do that and keep it there. Keep it there. Unfortunately, normally there's no neutralizers that are coming with TCA. You should get a neutralizer if you can. Search for neutral TCA neutralizer and then after a certain amount of time, normally between 10 to 15 minutes, then you neutralize the solution and off you go. And very likely your syringoma have been removed. Now the problem with this is that you do not know how to control the depth of ablation of TCA. So we're gonna talk about how TCA works. Basically, once again, you use the, t the toothpick, which I'm actually gonna draw here, the strips of TCA, and you actually put it on top of your syringoma. Then as your TCA gets there, it starts burning your syringoma. And then normally after 10 to 15 minutes, you've got to neutralize it. Depending on the concentration of uh, T well, TCA in your uh, trichloracetic acid solution, depending on that concentration, that length of time varies. This is why we don't advise you to actually do it on your own. However, if you really want to do it, do it on your own, then you've got to guess when you've got to use the neutralizer, or you may not, use the ne not want to use a neutralizer, you do it at your own risk. But the point is, the longer you keep the TCA on with that neutralizer, the actually deeper it goes into your syringoma, up until it goes to this level or even deeper. So that's how you do it. Very, very simple. And many people have done it this way. So basically, once again, you place your TCA with a toothpick on it, 
on your syngoma over the course of minutes it goes down it goes down it goes down it goes down up until it gets around about this area if you don't actually neutralize it and that's it very very simple as this happens this area here where you put the tca is going to become black don't get worried about that it's okay is normal and then it's going to to heal and then after it heals your syringoma should be taken care of should actually have disappeared depending on how you do it so there's many things this is why we don't advise people to do it on their own because there's many variables which you cannot control um, and we don't even know what concentrations you're using uh, depending on that there's many many variables there so this is why we don't advise you to do it. very experienced clinics to have more knowledge about how to control the ablation and then when to apply the neutralizer. The thing with TCA for syringoma removal and TCA in general is that a high concentration you do really need a neutralizer to stop its effect. This is why we don't advise to do that at home but if you want to do it you know how to do it. Once again I repeat it you put TCA on top with a toothpick and you just put a, a little drip or two drips on top of it and then it, it does its work like magic. The area becomes completely black. It's just whatever you apply it becomes black. The other way which is by using the resilient remover. So the TCA is really good because you can actually get a TCA solution for $10, $15 delivered to your home. There you have it. Toothpick, very cheap. Friend who's going to help you, free of charge, off you go. So. Uh, you can experiment with yourself if you wish, but we don't advise you to do it. The other way is by using the syringe remover. The syringe remover works in a very, very different way. The syringe remover works using glycolic acid at 90, 80, 90, 95%, which is buffered in many ways. When it's buffered, it means that we regulate the pH by using certain additives. And vitamin A. So how does this syringe remover work? Is um, that number one is not made into a solution, it's made in a gel, a gel with a potent glycolic acid at 90, 80, 95 percent depending, with vitamin A. So what, what you do is just put it on top of your syringoma, if this is the gel, let's assume this is the gel, here on top of it, and it starts ablating like TCA. But there's two things that you've got to know about the syringe remover. So the remover works with glycolic acid and vitamin A. Glycolic acid has got the same or very similar effect to um, your beautiful TCA. As I say, it starts burning your syringoma. But vitamin A has got a double effect because glycolic acid is not unforgiv as unforgiving as TCA, as trichloroacetic acid. So we've got to put something in it that makes it even more effective, which is vitamin A. Vitamin A, when you keep this serum remover onto the serum remover gel on top of um, your syringoma for long enough, then vitamin A will penetrate here, here, and if you keep it long enough up until the base of the syringoma. Vitamin A has got the effect of triggering the natural uh, exfoliation uh, mechanism of your skin. So as soon as it gets in contact with your healthy skin, your syringoma later on during the healing progression will pop out, pop, pop out literally. Uh, this is why it's so effective. So, but what is the main difference between the two? With the syringe remover, all you do, if you want to stop its effects, you wipe it, you up it, wipe it off and rinse it with water. It stops because it's not as unforgiving. TCA, once it gets in, the best thing you've got to do is use a neutralizer. I don't want to scare you, but then it's not as if, as if, even if you don't use a neutralizer, TCA is not going to kill you. It's just its effects are really, really potent and very, very difficult to control without using a neutralizer. Another thing you've got to be wary about, about using cosmetic peels, peels are very strong in order to remove your syringoma is that especially if you have it around your eyes, on uh, your under eyes or your upper eyelids. When you put something of the sort, uh, some cosmetic peels are very, very strong on your upper eyelids or lower eyelids, then the area is going to swell quite significantly. And this is something that shouldn't actually scare you. The swelling can actually happen, uh, normally happens the day after, two days after, 
the, the application lasts in the region of four to five days at the top. The most swollen is the day after, two days after the, the application of your TCA or um, your other products, so your cinnamon remover. The cinnamon remover, as we will see in other videos, is not doesn't give you as much a swelling as TCA does. TCA does. So this is all. So to recap, if you want to rewind this video, you actually got the solution in order to, for $10, $20 or so, remove your seringoma at home, which comes with a, a number of variables, which is quite difficult for us to, to tell you, to actually direct you on, because it really depends on um, the type of TCA that you buy, where you buy it from and the concentration of uh, the TCA uh, but you know basically you've got the basic information to go online buy your TCA and you know how to apply it on your seringoma and attempt which can be successful to remove your seringoma for good. The other advantage about using TCA if you buy it on your own is that if they come back you can keep applying it on your seringoma. So hopefully you find this video useful. We believe it's extremely useful to you because if you've got seringoma, you may be very annoyed with them. So um, you know how to do it. Another thing that seringoma is, uh, that TCA is not good on is people have got skin type four, five, and six. So in this case, is TCA is not the best solution because it can lead to hypopigmentation permanent hypopigmentation. So, so you know the basics of how to do a home cheaply, but it comes with this risks of scarring, scarring and hypopigmentation and also hyperpigmentation. So you know how to do it, but the risks are there. I'd like to, um, to be very, um, very clear. It's not as if you go to a clinic and you don't have the same risks. The same risks apply if you have the treatment done uh, with a clinic, but hopefully they know better. So they're gonna be able to use TCA in the, in the right way. And if you're skin four, five or six, they're not gonna use TCA on you. This video is for you to get the basic information so that you know how to actually do it on your own, but you've been warned about the possible risk. If you want to know more about syringoma and how to remove them, come to syringomaremoval.com. Uh, Thank you for watching.